we built a comprehensive musculoskeletal model and its control system that reproduces realistic human movements driven by muscle contraction dynamics. The skeleton has 22 joints in the body and is driven by more than 300 muscles. Activated muscles are shown in red. The physically simulated characters are able to react to unexpected perturbations or environmental changes in a physically plausible manner. Our character learned to lift the bar with weights using deep reinforcement learning. We gradually increased the weights to learn incrementally more challenging tasks. As the mass increases, the controller has to learn a different muscle coordination for the increased mass. Our character also learned to jump from a single reference motion clip which allows us to generate a continuous spectrum of vertical jumps, parameterized by target heights. As the target height increases, we time warp the reference motion to match the increased time in the air. The character learned to use arms more dynamically to jump higher. Many pathologic gait patterns can be attributed to musculoskeletal conditions, such as bone deformity and muscle deficiency. We consciously created such pathologic conditions in our model to see if gait patterns are generated as intended. Contracture is the shortening or stiffening of muscles that results in decreased movements and range of motion. The contracture of the psoas majors results in permanent flexion of the hip joints. The contracture of the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles results in stiff ankles, and thus the character is tiptoeing. The symptoms of muscle contracture can be easily incorporated into our model by adjusting the rest length of the muscle. The contracture of the major muscles in the left thigh results in the stiff knee, and consequently asymmetric gait. Because of the stiff knee, our character cannot have sufficient foot grounds clearance. Our algorithm learned the control policy of hopping gait that compensates the stiff knee and decreases tripping risk. Femoral antiversion is an inward twisting of the thigh bone, resulting in intoing gaits. This character has multiple symptoms including femoral antiversion, stiff knees, and stiff ankles. Even with these severe symptoms, our algorithm managed to learn a stable walking controller, although the stride is reduced. We also learned walking, running, and dancing with a prosthetic leg. The goal of designing a prosthetic leg is restoring the functionality of the missing body parts. Our learning algorithm simulates the process of adapting to the prosthetic leg. This control policy was learned from a normal gait pattern yet it demonstrates successful running with a prosthetic leg. We designed two types of lower extremity prostheses, transtibial and transfemoral. Both have a passive spring damper system to model the compliant reaction of the prosthesis. We use the multi-segment foot model when we want to simulate delicate foot motion. The multi-segment model has additionally 12 revolute joints and 25 muscles over the simplified foot in each leg. The sole is represented by linear blend skinning with respect to foot bones. This side-by-side -side comparison shows the multi-segment foot absorbs foot ground impact to make a smoother landing. The difference is subtle, yet important in clinical gait analysis. The multi-segment foot model facilitates more accurate analysis of human gait. Predictive surgery simulation begins with preoperative pathologic gait, simulates orthopedic surgeries on the musculoskeletal model, and aims to generate predictive outcomes of the surgeries. 
We simulated four types of orthopedic surgeries, which are performed frequently to cerebral palsy patients. Femoral derotational osteotomy is a procedure that corrects rotational deformities in the thigh and helps correct intoing and outtoing during walking. The rectus femoris and hamstrings are large muscles in the front and back of the thigh, which have significant influence on walking. Rectus femoris transfer and distal hamstring lengthening are procedures of transferring a muscle insertion to reduce the muscle tension. Rectus femoris transfer and distal hamstring lengthening together result in improving the range of motion in the knee joints. Tendo Achilles lengthening is a procedure that lengthens the Achilles tendon to reduce the tension of the calf muscles, which can widen the range of motion of the ankle and consequently alleviate the symptoms of tiptoe walking. The modified musculoskeletal model learned the post-operative gait that serves as a predictive outcomes of the surgery simulation. We also have a lot of failure cases. In this example, one leg squat requires muscle coordination beyond the physical capability of the character, which cannot generate sufficiently large torque with flexed hips and knees. Designing capable musculoskeletal models and their parameter tuning are important steps for successful simulation and control.